the world's jungle, a 60 mile stretch of untouched surviving the world's cartel road wilderness that connects Panama with Colombia. To this very day, it has no roads, no towns, no laws, nothing but venomous snakes, tropical diseases and narco gangs. Despite that, every year, hundreds of thousands of migrants from all over the world converge in northern Colombia to traverse the deadly jungle. I was warned by the authorities that if I entered, I would be risking robbery, kidnapping, or even something worse. However, despite this, I decided to join a group of migrants and secretly record our journey through the deadliest migrant route, the Darien. Violan mujeres, violan... Yo digo que eso es una ruleta. Eso es una ruleta así. Ese Darío. Ay, 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 amigos. We are in Medellín. Oh. Señor. Quiero ir a Necoclín. Vamos a Necoclín. Y comenzar. La aventura. Vamos. Vamos a ver, guys. Men, me and Mr. Calvo, señor Calvo. We are in Medellín. And now we're going to the bus station. I'm Hopefully we find the bus. And we go to Neco Clean, northeast of Colombia, border with Panama, was the starting point of all the Venezuelan immigrants. Oh guys, this guy goes the same place, Darien. I already know about Darien. ¿Cuándo te vas? Compañero, hoy. ¿Hoy vas? Hoy, en la noche. ¿Con qué? ¿Bus? Con bus. Dale, papá. Dios le bendiga, bro. Tiene bendiciones. Chao, man. Hopefully they have tickets. This specific location, Neco Clean, it's almost every day fully booked because of all the Venezuelan immigrants. Uf, otra vez por Darien. ¿Vas a salir en tú? Otra vez. ¿Segunda vez? No. ¿Por qué segunda vez? Oh no. You know you can go deported, that's why. See? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, it's it's not not it's 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 we need to say we're from a different country. If we make it alive, you will see the video. If not, you will see the news. Those, those tickets for Neco Clean. Yeah. Uh, 20 bucks each. Entonces, posible que cuando caminamos, vendo una guerrilla con armas. No, guerrilla no son indios. 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 Y te roban con armas. Okay guys, we enter the bus. Listo. Listo para aventuras. It's gonna be now how many? Seven hours? Más o menos. On this bus. Next to each other. ¿Quién habla inglés acá? Bilingüe. Profesor de inglés. Bilingüe. Bilingüe. Gracias, pa. Pero bien. Ay, bro. Gracias. Me asesoraron ahorita hace rato. No digan que no hablen inglés, no hablen. Aquí, aquí ahora, ¿no? Aquí nada. Bro. Soy venezolano, venezolano. Y él es de Rusia, ¿no? And that's the guy from the bus station in Medellín. He says everything is fine, but if we see the guerrilla or narco people, I have to say I'm from Venezuela. Because if they realized we are foreigners or YouTubers. Then it gets dangerous. Un cubano dejó a su mamá. La mamá se rebaló y cayó abajo en un río. Quedó en la selva y y él se fue y cuando llegó a Estados Unidos dijo que estaba muerta y la mamá era mentira. Fue y le quitó el bolso con la no plata y muerto. la medicina y dejó la mamá. Dejó la mamá allá. La abandonó. Sí. La familia del tipo lo quieren matar. Obvio. Y se lo vas a ver personas. Duró cuatro días haitiano, sin que nadie la ayudara muerto, y aguantó. Muerto, ¿Por qué sin comer nada. Porque lo roban. 
están los ladrones. Y si están solos. Y se cohiben, o sea, se ponen a discutir con los ladrones. Y entonces los ladrones los matan y los dejan ahí. A guy talk with his friend who knows someone who can get us to another city. I don't really know, man. The thing is, you cannot really trust anyone here. But if you don't trust anyone, then nothing can happen. So we need to trust some people, and hopefully all good. Guys, there are more people here from Vietnam. From Vietnam. Vietnam. Families. All right, guys. 6 a.m. In the whole town here, in be, it's been run by mafia. So we need to be careful. Now we came here. We want to buy stuff for the jungle. Yeah, guys, that's the sleepy bank and the tent. It's also baby, no? <laughs> guys, that's the liquid that can protect us in the jungle from all the animals, insects. The hell is that? How can we sleep together in the same tent? We're too big. It looks like a child's tent. I think when we open it, we don't fit we're it. definitely not going to feel we, we're not going to fit inside. What? Six for both of us. And also, we're probably going to get girls. It's not what? So where What's are we going to fit the girls in our tent? So they drink it and it radiates? I go to their tent. <laughs> We're here in the market. If we take the basic stuff. Hungry leg, one, one. Poquita ropa, time. poquita ropa y mucha comida. Guys, basically we're just buying tuna, atún, and bread. The whole city here is monetizing and profiting of the immigrants. We're in the port. It looks okay, but there's a lot of mafia people here. Look, the camera. He's the camera. Dodgy faces. Careful, they're seeing you with the camera. That guy over on your right is looking at you with the camera. No way. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. No, chicos, 140. 140. We are Neco Clean, the spot where all the immigrants from Venezuela and other parts of the world are coming, and then they take in boats to go. Over there, that's the Darien jungle, man. Okay. 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 Pastilla for the water. Ah, ah, sí. Gratis. Totalmente gratis. Gracias. Ay, gracias, papá. Para usar uno por litro de agua y van a esperar media hora. ¿Cuánto tenemos? Gracias. Oh, guys, the guy just gave us these pills so we can throw them inside the water because all the water in the Darien, they say it's contaminated and we might get sick. Thankfully, this guy now saved us and gave us for free some pills. I never thought about it. El vapor Darien. ¿El vapor de Arien? Sí. No. ¿Puede? ¿El, el niño? Pero va a ganar poco a poco, ¿no? No, alzado. Alzado, cargado. Nosotros queremos que se lo lleve Venezuela para no estar saliendo más. Mira cómo estamos todos. Es difícil, ¿no? Suerte, bro. Míralo. ¿Cómo te sientes? Sad, because for us, we're not escaping anything. We're doing this for a completely different reason. Just documenting. We're documenting the stories, but that's important. Vale, 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 vale. Los pasajeros del bote número 5, atentos al llamado. Four machines in the back, Yamaha. They make so much money out of this situation, guys. Vamos, señor Calvo. Vamos, señor Timmy. We all paid here the mafia to get us from the one place to the other and then to the jungle. Pure human trafficking. How the fuck is he doing this? Things here are very intense, man. We're in this town, Kapur Gana. Since yesterday, it's been one day, and we're trying to look different ways, different routes to get into the jungle. So now, guys, with one of the mafia guys, he told us let's get another route all the way to Darien. Esta manilla se la van a poner cuando estén en carreto que ya me lo reciba el guía. Allá. Cuando ya lo reciba el guía que los va a recibir allá, lo va a recibir ese que se llama Juan López. Lo tiene, lo tiene. Esto, esto guárdenlo bien, no se lo dejen ver de la guardia ni nada. No, no, eso se lo ponen allá. Eso lo ponen allá. Guárdenlo bien guardado, que no se lo pidan a decir. Juan López. 
solo con él. Solo con él. Entonces, bro, a los dos días, cuando ya estén dos días, con Juan López, cuando ya estén con Juan López, se ponen la manilla. Cuando estén en la casa de él. Okay. Yeah. Gracias, señor. Now we're doing it. So now I'm just going me and Mr. Bolt. We don't know where we're going. We just trusted the random mafia guy, smuggler. We paid him a couple of bucks. Loads of bucks, actually. And now we hope all good. Oh my God, man. Where we're going now, we're gonna see an indigenous guy, it's called Juan Lopez. We have some specific braces that Baldi saved in his pocket. We got some extra, extra money to give to him. And we just go. Basically now that's human trafficking in real life. Now it's over. Now anything we do is completely illegal. We have the same luck as the average Venezuelan, Iranian, or Pakistani or Vietnamese immigrant. And we hope all good. What happened? Broke? Oh, mate, the machine is broken. This shit. Oh, hell no. Nice start. Nice start. <laughs> I would have been mad as fuck. Bro, you know what scared me? Why were the only one? We're supposed to be with many dudes. Guys, that's what scares me, man. We're supposed to be with lots of immigrants. 2,000 people are crossing daily, dairy and jungle. Guys, I swear to God, we never ask for privacy. We want to be with the immigrants like yesterday in a place you saw. No life jacket, nasty, deadly boat. 80 year old driver. Fuck. Ahora, donde? Ah, ahorita, sí, donde? Ahorita, ahí te están esperando ya. ¿Ya? Te embarcan en otro bote y te llevan allá. We arrived in a small beach town that hopefully we're gonna meet some other mafia guys that will take us from here. Like a movie, man. We got caught from the Panamanian army, man. And now they send us back to Colombia. Damn. We spent the whole night on a Panamanian prison because obviously we entered the country illegally. The army got us, put us in this nasty cell. It really felt like a movie. I was scared. Benny was scared. We couldn't phone call anyone. And now they decided to deport us. They said, if they catch us again, we're gonna have to pay thousands of dollars fine. Because what we did yesterday was human trafficking. <laughs> Mate, was human trafficking. So now, obviously, we don't wanna give up. We came here for a reason. So basically today, a few hours before, we found another smuggler, mafia guy. Which, we have to trust him. And he said, there's another way to go Darien, with some motos, we're gonna go tomorrow, find the camp, base camp of other immigrants, and then we start the Darien Gap journey. They told us it's very dangerous, extremely dangerous, especially for us gringos, who might never make it, who can get robbed, kidnapped, or even killed. It's not a joke, I'm scared, but because I'm Mr. Bold, who's even worse than me, <laughs> reckless, guys, he's reckless. That's why he's the top G of traveling, actually. I cannot disappoint him. And we decided, we're gonna give it a try, trust another smuggler, and we're gonna do it again. Nah, he got it, what the fuck? Let's try. Again tomorrow, bro. It's insane. Because it's almost 1 a.m. We're still waiting for the mafia guy to confirm us that we're gonna go and do the second secret route to enter Darien jungle. It's pure stress, because we don't know what's happening. We already paid. Okay, well, don't say. You see, he said, keep waiting, you can get rest, but maybe it's been cancelled, which means again we lost our money. But that's how it works, guys, that's how mafia works. You pay, if it happens, good. If it doesn't happen, you have to change the route, pay again. So how can I sleep when I know anytime he can knock the door and we go straight to the jungle? Reggaeton por siempre, 
Batman new album just got released and that gives me strength. <laughs> the fuck? Bad Bunny listeners? Already an accident. We fall down with a motor man. I got injured. Right here. Damn. Yo, ahora estamos en Darien dentro, no? Sí. That was some Flexico. Guys, now our lives is on the hands of actually these guys. There is no loss here anymore. And the only my only guarantee. The money I paid. Guys, we made to the first camp, man. We can barely film here because full of smugglers and mafia. But yeah, we're gonna stay here for the rest of the night. ¿Cómo se siente, señor Pagaldo? I mean, it was a little bit scary when the guy in the cafe. I'll explain. We went to a cafe just here. Cafe shit. And the guy was like, you're French. I went, no. He went, you're German. Definitely German. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 senor, I'm Russian. But it made me um, calm. Made him That's man. why I've taken off my things. I look too French, like I've got a cravat. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we had to do some myth of acting for like 10 minutes. The guy was asking us a lot of questions, where we're from. I'm fucked, and Bold dude. was saying he's Russian. I also said I'm Russian, and Bold is my uncle. And how I learned Spanish? I was in Canary Islands for a year, illegally. And that's how I learned Spanish. And also I love reggaeton, I told him. And we broke the ice a little bit <laughs> with a smuggler. Hugo, oh, what's your name, senor? Luis Rodriguez. Luis, you're Timmy. 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 It's a gusto. Guys, senor Rodriguez is going to fix my leg, man. He wants me to do this. Ah, you do it. I'll going to square it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't touch that, I'll fucking kill you. Aye, man. Oh, you're gonna rea, boy. Oh, it's painful. <laughs> you think that he helped us, man? Is any mafia behind me now? No. Behind me now? No. Guys, now I wanted to make the tent. I have no clue how to do it, bro. Do you? No clue, right? No idea. Do you wear it? I don't know. These do. niggas playing, bro. And you just bro. lay down. Okay, I'm gonna help him. Fuck it. Till they take that shit. Put your one in the hole there. Look there. Next Two of us to me. Oh shit, Two, man. Two six foot five people. Come, how are you an anus friend? That he bought from Toys R Us. Why are There's you there? Team. All the smugglers on the right side. The old ceiling Bro, if I do this, I'm literally getting kidnapped. And basically, they're in charge of us right now. If they decide Maybe. to do something Probably bad, not. filming or they feel scared. But why would I do this? They have the right to even <laughs> kill us or harm us. So right now, here in the middle of Darien, the only thing that keeps us alive and safe is this little little brace that proves we are protected from the cartel. Maybe hey. get some coffee. How you feel, Senor Bond? Tired, but I'm excited. We're about to live in a bit. I'm scared. I'm still worried every minute to stay low key. We'll see how it goes. What is the main thing to do in Arkansas? It's fucking difficult. Man. What's the sightseeing? It's full of mafia around. Checking on us. Oh, Fuck off. <laughs> Just made it to the Panama Colombia border. All illegal. Is it smoking black and mild? Ben, how you feel, man? Huh? How you feel? Yeah, I feel... No, I don't know. It's not good. It's good. It's good. Look, I'm going to go. Recording this shit is crazy. It's a whole movie. And it's only going to get harder. Bro, it's full of kids and people. This is really history that we're witnessing here. All these people leaving different countries, but all going to one place with one dream. 
Yeah, it's um, USA. 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 Oh shit. Non stop walk through the Darien Jungle. Guys, we can barely film because the mafia guys are around us all the time. They don't let us film. Don't forget, it's not an easy, chilled trek. This is human trafficking in real life. Saluda. A mi mamá, de Rusia. Sí. Mucha basura, ¿no? Sí, sí. Hay so many. What if someone snitch? Good question, but I don't know, bro. I really don't have an answer. Bro. Is this video snitching? <laughs> Mr. Bold, how do you feel? It's exhausted, afraid. Um, yeah, just want to get moving again. When you stop, is when you start thinking. This place is a disaster, bro. We need to stay in this place for the next 15 hours. Senor Calvo. Senor Timmy. He big as hell. This is the most stressful night of my life. The mafia guys are taking us, walking around. It's a constant stress. Literally on the hands of the smugglers. Anytime our identities can be exposed, and then the worst can happen. Full of trash because people come here every day. That's a. This is our camp, so look at all the trash here. Contamination of the jungle. Salud, Arusia. Many people have lost their lives on this route here, which I saw a dead body. Aquí, pasando la montaña, cansado, pero vamos bien con oh. nuestro amigo y colega ruso. Saludos, vamos bien. Vamos, bro. Vamos. Poco a poco. Why would he show the body? Shit ain't lively, nigga. Crazy. A dead body, mate. Oh, shit. Another one. The famous Russo. Привет всем. Привет. Ah, Karepitsko, mate, no pushy me curats. You left the hanging on the doubt. I couldn't sleep at all. It was the stress, the most stressful day of my life. We had the mafia guys following us in every step. They put me in a corner and they were asking questions. Why you're here? Why you filming all this kind of stuff? I freezed cold. And I stopped filming. I was scared to death because they also said Ojo al Rujo, which means have an eye on the Russian guy. Be careful, me. Cuidado, bro. Poco a poco. Listo morir. We're the first persons, all of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, like ten persons who made it first. More caminatas are coming. So now we have a bigger group, which is safer for us. Because they told us, since now we have no mafia around us, anytime indigenous people can show up out of nowhere, like in the movies, and rob all of us. So it's good to have more people coming in case of an indigenous robbery. Así es. Así, Ronaldo, ¿cómo? He did it. <laughs> Darien, bro, lo logramos. Y ahora el otro hermano. Y Messi, ¿cómo hace? Así. Paul is helping the kids. Man, this is very dangerous, guys. I cannot believe how we're gonna make it. All these families with the kids, carrying loads of stuff.
fucking crazy. We just help two kids. We cannot help everyone. Thank you for the sub, bro. We're just crossing rivers, man. It's super difficult. People have died this way. I was very stressed before. We were helping people non stop. Babies were screaming, women were screaming, and all of us, the men, were trying to help them. Nightmare. I've never seen anything like it. Ten times worse than I was imagining. We're stuck here. We need to go after that. I've lost completely bold. Maybe I'm two hours behind because I'm with all the kids. Vamos. It's very, very dangerous, guys. Yeah. Look at this woman. She got injured yesterday. Now she's struggling. We all of us help her, but we cannot help her all the time. Espera que te ayude. We have 20 minutes more of daylight, so we have to stay here. Mate, we are destroyed, man. Look how we clean our water. Basically, we throw this little pastilla, pill, so the water from the Rio, which is super dirty, they say now it's going to be clean. They say, supposedly. You're supposed to wait half an hour, and then you can drink it. Let's yes. See. Vamos a ver. 12 more hours in this tent. Hopefully tomorrow we're done. This is our biggest fear. Have another day in the jungle. Senor Bolt eating breakfast in the jungle of Darien. Tuna. Would you give to Timmy some tuna? No. Because Timmy gave away <laughs> one of our cans of tuna to a random camel. He said, yeah, have a can of tuna. <laughs> so now I'm going to go hungry today because he gave away my tuna. <laughs> Yeah, that was my mistake, man. Guys, in the jungle, if you're with your partner, soldier, you have to ask that you do something. Tuna? I didn't ask him, I just gave out the tuna to a I random love guy. Tuna, bro. That shit's so far. My fault. He's right. No. How the fuck do you not like tuna? That shit is good. I crash out by some tuna sandwiches. We are the first group, the first seven out of 500 that are behind us. Senor Bolt is leading the team. How the fuck he know where to go? That is juggle contamination, guys. The thing is, you cannot blame the immigrants. All they try to do is to escape their countries and find a better life. Now we are a bit worried, guys, because we are only seven of us, far away from the other groups. And people are scared, including me, that we might get robbed. Because this is Darien Gap jungle. Anytime you can get robbed from an indigenous community, we are crossing alone. Everyone told us, stay with a group of 50, 30, or even 100 people. That's when you're 100% safe. But you go a lot slower. Apparently we value speed over safety a little bit. Last night I saw Google Maps where we are. And I freaked out a little bit, guys, because we're They're literally going to hear your ass and get you first. Nowhere in Panama, in Darien Gap. And right now we have no more guides, no more mafia, no more smugglers. We're just alone. We follow this blue oh, okay. bugs. Means we're on the right path. As you can see, man, we find more people trying to cross the river. We lost the Venezuelan group, we lost the Nepal group, and now we joined the IT group. How you feel, bro? Destroyed, to be honest, it's caught up with me. No food, no sleep. Just walking, walking, walking. Not even know what we're walking to. So we are basically the first people from the West that are not journalists doing this.
Dutch is stupid. Dude. That's a sweet from Venezuela. How are you, señor? I'm having my, well, my first cigarette. <laughs> sometimes in life, you know what, sorry mum, but sometimes in life you need a cigarette. And if this isn't the moment to have a cigarette, I don't this know what This is the it time, is. man. This is the time. Guys, one mistake here, and it's done. What's That's the my problem with Darian. No one will help you. If you get injured... Just smoke neck. You're done. This is not a tour. Whoever makes it, makes it. Whoever cannot make it, will die in the jungle. One mistake, and it's over. I see things blurry, man. I don't know where I'm stepping. I think my glycogen level has dropped down. Ooh, I need to stop. I feel like I cannot control my body anymore. Oh, be careful. And every step is my life. I need to stop. Oh, man. We just had our last pieces of food, some crackers and some marmalade. And now that's it. No more food. Hopefully we can make it today, man. We just saw two military people. He said we're not even in the middle of the distance now our motivation dropped Damn. back to zero because we thought we we're gonna make it today we have no more food all our clothes are wet this is where desperation hits you in the jungle it's endless and you want to give up this is insane guys there's no end oh. Ay. One more dead body. Our feet are wet for the last four days. They never dry. That's how you get diseases and infections and then you get gagrena. On a Russo. On a Russo. Perry. Now we found a Venezuelan group. And now we we'll go with them. We have more motivation now. Caracas. Mate, Darien Gap is an emotional roller coaster. You go from depression to excitement, depression to excitement. Check this out. Damn. Mosquitoes fucking his ass up. It's like Hunger Games in real life, man. There's no going back. There's no guide. It's pure survival mode on. <laughs> we made it, guys. Very difficult yeah. to cross the river. Everybody carry to kids. collaborate. Are you? I, that's crazy. One more time, I fell down. Oh shit! I'm tall and I don't like this man. <laughs> Are you feeling man? Fuck. <laughs> One more river. Whoa. I want to rea for puta. Oof. This is nasty, man. This is... Oh, fuck, my eye. Ah, my ojo. A Walmart in the middle of the fucking jungle? The hips are living, guys. Probably will be count, bro, but I don't think There's they'll no ever end. do it. There's literally no end. Like, that's never happened. Guys, I sprained my ankle. Very, very badly. Oh, it's over with. Like, it hurts a lot. We've been walking for seven hours and still nothing. Nothing. No village. 
no cano meu deus caramba is unreal bro is unreal Well, no one can deny we are coming in place. Plastic or no? Plastic. Para cocinar? Yeah, nice. We stay here. Extremely tired. We failed both of our goals of today. We couldn't find the. He's literally Kirawa, walking the in the Nor the indigenous village so we stay here that's the only water i have nothing else and we have no food zero food so he just has that's his water. iphone everything gets wet we have no more clothes obviously my feet are burning same as that's gold. how this nigga know where to go but we sign up for it we're aware of that in advance. Yeah, no we heard stories about Darien jungle, and now we experience it. That's what it takes for the average immigrant who arrives in the United States. This is what they're going through before they... Um, Enemigao, Candolo, Cono, si. ¿Dónde está el paisa? El perreo intenso. Ah, escucha. De mi grosa, de mi nananá. Na, na. ¿No te gusta reggaetón? Guys, reggaetón gives me hope and motivation. En Envigao, cuando lo conocimos, la costa de vino ya se viste fino. ¿Tú like reggaetón? Me amo el reggaetón. This nigga watching Netflix. On camera, off the camera. Cut this shit. Hey, me gusta el reggaetón. ¿Qué tú piensas? Me gusta bailar. No, guys, he likes it. In Medellin, he liked it. He went out, we partied, he liked it. No way, he got movies. I believe him. I'm shivering, I'm freezing like crazy. Everything is wet. It's supposed to be only three days, now it's day six. I sprained my ankle. And one mistake can cause my life here. I was talking with Bolt before. If one of us gets hurt, there's nothing he can do, nothing I can do to help him. There's no laws here. We're in the middle of the jungle, illegally. No one will help you. That's why we saw already six bodies, dead bodies. People bring their kids here, man. This is mental, absolutely mental. One more day, hopefully. One more day. Ay, ay, ay. My ankle is destroyed. We're looking for this indigenous village, if it exists. Oh, we can get some food and water. But we had nothing. God knows what they're escaping, but it must be important. We need to find some Holy water. Holy shit. Agua, cabrón. Animo, como fuerza. Camino, camino. No, animo. Como más fuerza. Sí, fuerza. Ganas. O sea, como ah, 3.5 kilómetros. Después eso, ¿qué? Llegamos sí. a la pueblo. ¿Se cree que llegamos al pueblo a las piraguas? Ah. So yeah guys, they say 3.5 kilometers to arrive somewhere, maybe to, to this village. Mira, felicidad. Emotional roller coaster, guys. We hear some good news, we get happy. Then we see that it's fake news, depression. No, 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 que tu amigo le dio re duro al camino. They said, be careful for the snakes here. Oh, mate, hopefully there's no anacondas here. Oh, it's right. First of all, we cannot see it. Second of all, what do we can do if he appears? I don't know. Maybe we see Jennifer Lopez here. <laughs> My gosh, anything can be here. Oh guys, this indigenous guy says there is agua over there. I don't know if it's true. Oh, 
Cada vez, cada vez, cada vez me siento más cansado. Guys, that was the greatest water I've ever had. No water for a day and a half. Finally. It was mad good. Mad good. What is this montage? Behind these bushes, I see some rooftops. This is like a dream, man. This is like a dream. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my God. Paradise on Darien. The first form of civilization. After five days. Feels like paradise on Earth. Do you have a maquete? Solo one. Solo one? Yes, two, two, two. Oh my god, I know that shit buzzing. I know what's gonna happen now when we see our passports. I don't think we can lie anymore. I'm Greek, he's British, and hopefully all good. Bro. Oh guys, I'm looking for shoes, man. Some Crocs. Because my feet are bleeding. <laughs> There's a puncture. Guys, I have bad eating my wounds. Look at this oh. shit. I'm almost dead, mate. Go away. You don't go away. I think I'm dead. I think my feet are dead. We've got gangrene. Wow. Look, same color. My feet are dead. <laughs> Hopefully all good. Oh, yeah. Let them breathe a little bit. Let those wounds heal. Guys, I bought these shoes. Last year, oh. I survived the Darien, and now we can rest in peace. Because I came here to the Red Cross, and hopefully they can help me with my wound. It's been five days in the water, full of mud. They gave me this thing, this thing, and this thing for all of my wounds. Look at here. Guys, we met to the camp. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here for the whole day. Translate this what you're saying. But the girl is with broke her legs in the mountains. Do you know what happened? Yeah. 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 Fine. Everything is good. Good man, we made it, bro. It's made. What do you think about this place? I think it's like something like a, well, something I've never seen before. It's something like out of the Bible, like biblical times. It's um, just people wandering around, not sure what to do, just relieved to have crossed the daddy in and arrive safely, just like we are. But um, yeah, it's a crazy place. He's the oh, most. Look up here. Hey, look up here. <laughs> Our friends, mate. Fuck. We met so many people on the journey. Ay, man. Llegaron ahora, ¿no? Sí, va a ser ridículo. Fuck. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Sí. Ronaldo. A ver otro. No, Messi. Sí. Messi, ¿cómo hace Messi? Vamos, Costa Rica. Muy fuerte. Los dos guerreros. Guerreros los dos. Muy pronto. You made it, bro. Casi me muero allá. ¿Cómo? Casi me muero. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo? Ayer. Ayer. ¿Qué te pasó? Estabas solo solo. Me desmayé solo en unas piedras y todo el mundo pasaba y nadie, marica, nadie, todo el mundo. Yo así dormido pálido. Una señora llegó y me tocó, me levantó, me dio sí, suero, es... me dio suero y me dio panela. ¿Quién? Una persona. Una, señora, una venezolana. ¿Estabas muerto solo? Sí. Porque caminé mucho y no comí. Cinco. Was sin carpa, dormí sin carpa, otra vez. ¿Como sin, sin nada? Sin... No, no, la gente no le regaló nada. Al lado, en el río, en las piedras, ahí en las piedras. Así. ¿Dónde yo te vi ayer? Mira, durmiendo yo encima de las piedras. Ahí estaría yo en el río, encima de las piedras. ¿Cómo se ve el río? Pero, o otro. ¿Aquí qué pasó? Nada, ¿no? ¿Se registraron en todo? ¿Usted? Sí, lo mismo, todo Melo. ¿Melo? Con la sonrisa, Melo. Behind every smile you see here, there's a crazy story. Si tú eres venezolano, o un inmigrante en el USA, y si has venido a Darien, por favor, dale un handshake, o dale un trago, te lo truly aprecio. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Sí,
Okay guys, so basically you're gonna stay here, spend the night, and tomorrow boat will come to take us to the next immigration camp point. Good morning. I love I you. Five. You are beautiful. I am people. I can barely walk. Yeah guys, now we're gonna enter the canoes. And I think that it's gonna be a four hour trip. Less? Oh, I hope so. Four hours in one of them. It's terrible, man. Let's get back. That is not going to be comfortable. Oh my god, I'm behind bolts. Take a dead blogging on the iPhone, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, my god. Yeah guys, that's the ultimate and the last indigenous village. They say that Yen is not a normal route. It's one of the most dangerous places in the world. And I think we've crossed it. Let's go! Those wraps. Hi! As you can see, people that just finished Darien now, they're washing themselves, other people eating. The place looks like a shit hole, human shit everywhere, terrible situation. But yeah, all of these people have one dream to go to USA. Day seven. I'm sick. Se violaron la mujer del hombre y el hombre se puso rabia. Se puso rabia. Estaba viendo cómo estaban violando a la mujer. Yo me imagino. El frente de él. El frente wow. de él, así. Y estaban violándola y el tipo, yo creo que tanta impotencia, tanta broma le dio. Fue todo. Y la grabaron. ¡Pam! Ahí le metieron. Los haitianos mataron a una familia de haitianos por no saber hablar. Nosotros, no. ya, nosotros cuando pasamos lo que llamamos a puro muerto, puro muerto, puro muerto. Estaba una niña así y la mamá así. Sí. En, en posición fetal en una piedra no, no, no. así y la mamá estaba así también violan mujeres violan yo digo que eso es una ruleta eso es una ruleta así ese Darío hay personas que no ven nada yo no yo no vi nada yo no vi nada por eso por eso gracias a Dios usted se trajo su platico a mí fue que me dieron aquí te pegaron no no me dieron, no me pegaron sino que me quitaron mi 280 por eso que estoy vendiendo café por aquí y ese de usted aquí overnight in the refugee immigration camp. The police and immigration didn't let us go because me and Ben were, were not immigrants, which now things get complicated. The people from the army and immigration said they've never seen a foreigner from UK or Greece coming to this place and crossing the Aryan jungle. So now even themselves, they don't know what they can do for us because we're basically illegal in their country. So we stay here waiting to see what's gonna happen. Prison, pay a fine, deported. No one really knows because no one has experience of a situation like this, me and Ben. What we just did was probably one of the most dangerous things and risky things I've ever done in my whole life. Guys, I'm not even joking. We've met today and yesterday and the day before so many people that got robbed, a woman got raped, the other guy lost his wife. Indigenous people were waiting in so many different places inside the Darien jungle and they were robbing people, killing people. Basically, me and Ben, we played Russian roulette and we got lucky. And I don't encourage anyone ever to do this thing that we just did, me and Ben, unless you have necessity and you know Bro. that you might oh, die. I'm not fucking making it, buddy. It's wrapped for me.
Do it on stream. <laughs> Second day in Panama prison. They brought us here yesterday. It is absolutely terrible. It's full of army people that are f***ing cunts. Prison. Prison. Literally a prison. Fence here. Guards patrolling over there in the fields. So you can't just... Yeah, they're over there. So... And they're cunts. Prison. Nine o'clock. There's an alarm. So we have to sleep with closed lights in a room of 200 people. Guys, How does they die yet? They were not allowed to go out until 6 a.m. Damn. As you can see guys here, Mr. Bolt is the president and mayor of the concentration camp. Portable charger, to fatty. Do, but smoke. This is actually the Yo, area where all of us are allowed people. to smoke. Digo que solo aquí podemos fumar, no? Solo aquí podemos fumar. Porque ahí no los dejan, men, nos pegan. Ay, bro, ayer dijeron que pusieron spray unas personas en el baño. Es cierto, no? Y agarraron a chino también fumando en el baño. Hay que tumbar el gobierno de Maduro. Maduro. Maduro, coño de tu madre. These guys now are trapped here. They got robbed in Darien. So now they have no money. So they cannot go to Costa Rica. 9 p.m. He's shouting to us. Go to sleep. Time to sleep, Ben. Now they're gonna come inside and check us. Fucking guards. It's terrible. It's terrible, man. You see guys, whole family is living now, sneakily, from behind, if they get caught, they're gonna be deported back to Venezuela, man, it's super stress. The kids, the whole family, hopefully they can make it now somehow, mate. In the finca of the drugs, of marijuana, of cocaine. Ah, you worked in a finca of drugs. That's right, when I came in 2018, they deported them. Yo me metí para allá, allá había mucho trabajo. Y era bueno porque usted se porta, hay guerrilla. Pero si usted se porta bien, siempre es decentico, usted no le pasa nada para allá, nada. No me mata, tú la raspas la hoja, la hoja. Y tú la metes en un estope y el dueño de esa vaina la vende a un laboratorio. Y siempre hay gente con armas ahí, ¿no? Claro, por ahí hay manes en uniformados, así como, sí. Como ejército, pero de... imagen de la ley, puros manes camuflajeados que llaman la ley. ¿De narcotraficantes? Sí, claro. Is it a war, mate? Well, what the fuck? Señor Calvo brought us coffee. Mm. Shit, but it's the best thing we can get here. That shit give me the shits. I'm having a little breakfast. We're making the most of life in the camp. Where are you going? Where are you from? Aquí estamos, guys. Encontramos una colombiana. Aquí en la prisión de Panamá. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Presenta. Natalie Yotimi y Benjamín. Repito, se le va a entregar al puerto y cena de una vez. Lunch and dinner at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> Guys, that's our food. <laughs> With some nasty chicken that I ate. And now it's some rice. ¿Te gusta el pollo, amor? Suave. Suave. Ella siempre está feliz. Sí. Para Colombiana es normal. Yeah. Colombiana siempre positiva. Guerrera. Power Puff Girl. Ah, se papi. Vamos a Bucati. Ella va. A los Saudis. Mira cómo abre la cara, me. Uf. Friday night. Yo, why is he back in this? Con mi amiga, señorita, <laughs> Natalie. Y el chamo. Manuel. Y el chamo, Manuel. Te quiero sin ropa por el panty calao. I told you, one day I'm going to make Bold the Back Rap dance. And I think today we achieved it. De Londres a petar, eh. Así es. Malandro, siempre. Vamos, chamos. Reggaetón por siempre. This guy, amigos, is from IT. He lost daughter, mother, and sister. And he has probably the saddest story I've ever heard of Darien. We've been trapped here 
for the last seven days. The time goes so slow. We have basically no rights. We're almost kidnapped in this place. We cannot escape, we cannot leave. And the majority of the guards are treating us like shit. Literally like animals. Feels surreal, feels like a movie. But after a few days here, it's not always bad. We also have some good moments. <laughs> Yo, why is he just smacking down on everything? <laughs> Fucking prison, mate. But we still find these little moments of happiness. We still don't know how I'm gonna be here, man. Man, I can't do more days here, man. It's impossible. I cannot sleep the whole night. Salva la vida, por favor! Amigos, finally, man. After six or seven days, seven days. Seven days, exactly. Finally, man, we leave. If everything goes by the plan, as they said, they're gonna leave us to the Costa Rican border. We've been riding the bus for 14 hours and still we haven't reached the Panamanian Costa Rican border. This is the worst Damn, night of my life. I've had some bad bus rides in my life. Nothing's ah. as bad as this. Terrible, mate. And but we flow always. Always we flow. All these buses are immigrant buses. It's a convoy of immigrant buses and now we made a little stop somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Panama. There's over 30 buses. And there's a police car in the front that leads the way and all of us are following. Lo logramos, cabrón. Now we can officially guys say we've made it. Darien Jungle Panama Nightmare Experience it's over. Yeah, they fucked out of man. Rip. That was fucking crazy. Pretty interesting bit to us.